Number 61. Find the total capacitance of the combination of capacitors shown in figure 19.34. So here's the figure. It looks very, very complicated. All right. Uh, why don't you guys take a look at, I think number 60 and number 57 will help you understand this. All right. They're, simp they're easier um, systems of capacitors, and it should hopefully help make this one make a little more sense. So what I need to do is I have to somehow break this whole thing down into a single capacitor. All right. Well, in other words, you could look at it as building it up into a single capacitor. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't matter. Somehow we got to get it to a single capacitor. So I like to pick apart, you know, a couple of non-complex units first. So if you define a start point here, okay, and an end point, what I like to do is I like to think about like charge flowing through or water flowing through, right? And I look and if water flows through here, it can go one of three ways, all right? But I notice depending upon, you know, these three ways, I got like... These are in parallel, by the way. These, these three, one, two, and three are in parallel. But the problem is within that parallel arrangement, I also have a series element here, right? And then after this parallel, I kind of have like another parallel arrangement here. So I'm not going to start analyzing that part first. I'm going to start picking apart the easy stuff, the simple parallel and the simple series arrangements. It doesn't matter which one you necessarily start with, all right? What I'm going to do is I notice that these are beautifully in series with one another, right? In order to get to the 3 microfarad, I had to flow through the 5. So what I'm going to do is just combine these two first, okay? So let's do that, let's do that math on the top. So we're going to take now the uh, 1 over the capacitance in series. The total capacitance, that is, is equal to 1 over the first capacitor plus 1 over the second capacitor, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. So that means 1 over the capacitance in series will be equal to 1 over 5 microfarads and plus then 1 over 3.5 microfarads. The beautiful part about this is you can leave it all in microfarad. You do not need to do any type of conversion. Just make sure everything is in the same units. So now when we add these together, simply take out that calculator. 1 divided by, one divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 3.5. And I realize that we're going to get a value. So 1 over the capacitance in series there is going to be equal to 0 0.486 or so. 486. Okay. And then we're not done. Right? We need to solve for the series capacitance. And we got to take this out of the denominator up into the numerator. Bring this from the top on down onto the bottom. And we realize now we have a nice little, you know, cross multiplication that we did. And just take 1 divided by that 0.486. So we come up with a value here of about 2.0, um, I'm not writing, 2. 2.0, what do we got? 6, okay, is equal to about the capacitance there in series. So now what I can do, all right, is I can basically redraw this whole structure and then combine this, these two, all right? So I have an idea. Uh, let's do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to manipulate the photo. Let me see if I can do it. Ready? Custom, is this wide enough? Sure, that works, right? Just get a, okay. So let's just white this all out now. And what I'm gonna do is simply, you know, I know it's gonna look a little funky. Actually, you know what, I'll extend this on down a little bit. So let's extend this one on down to there. Let's extend this one on up. So now I realize that there's a single capacitor here. And let me put that, I guess, in green. There's a single capacitor here that now is acting like a 2.06 uh, milli, excuse me, microfarad capacitor. Okay, so I broke that on down into one single unit. Now what I'm going to do is try to pick apart the next. Again, this looks like it's in simple parallel. The only problem is it is, but the only problem is I got a, like a complex, then I got like a parallel, then into a series on two parallels. It's a little crazy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take now these two elements because I know these two are perfectly in parallel with one another. In order to get to the first one, it did not have to go through the second one, right? They're both in parallel there. So what I'm going to look to do is combine them. I know that they're in parallel, so I have to do the math in parallel, okay? So the parallel formula is going to be that the capacitance, the total capacitance in parallel is going to be equal to the capacitance of one plus the capacitance of the other plus, you know, however many there are in parallel. So this is simply going to be 0.75, then plus, then 15. Okay, and that's going to be 15.75, and that's in microfarads. So notice now that the total here is greater than any of the individuals. And then also notice that my answer before in series was less 
than any of the original individuals. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to white that out. Okay. So let's go. Let's go white it on out. So we're going to get rid of this. Okay. Do to do. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this whole piece. Because again, I found the equivalent. I know it's going to be acting like a single capacitor now. How did that happen? Never seen that before. Okay. So now I'm going to plug in here in green. It's going to look like this now. It's going to have 15.75 microfarads. Now it's starting to really look, you know, close to now a simple thing, but I realize I got parallel, parallel, and then I got like series within a parallel. So what can we combine next, do you think? What's the easiest thing to do? Right, combine this now, okay, into a nice series arrangement. So find the total. So let's do that now. So it's going to be 1 over the total capacitance. The series is equal to 1 over the first capacitor plus 1 over the second, you know, however many you got. Dot, dot, dot. So 1 over the series arrangement is going to be equal to 1 over 1 1.5, that's the first one, plus then 1 over 15.75. So let's do the math. So 1 over uh, 1 1.5 plus then 1 over 15.75, and I get a value of about 0 0.730, right? Cross multiply though, because we got to solve for that's CS. We've got to bring it, write the capacitance in series. We've got to bring it on out and simply take then the reciprocal. So it's 1 divided by then 0.73, which works out to be about 1.37 or so. One point, one second. Uh-oh, getting a little caught up. 1.37, and that's again in microfarads. That's going to be equal to the series arrangement there. So what are we going to do? Let's white it on out. So now let's erase... You know, we, we found, remember, we basically found, you know, this whole part here, right here. Okay, we, we basically broke this down into now a single element. Okay, so simply white it on out. Cool. And draw it as if there were one capacitor there. So let's do that. Ready? I'm going to bring that down a little bit, bring that up a little bit. Try to make it straight. And look at this now. Right, well, let me put that in green. A little forest green. So this has a capacitance now of 1.37 microfarads. Now look. What is the arrangement here? Do you have any, like, complex series within parallel, within series, and that's in parallel, and that's in parallel with something in series? No, this isn't Inception anymore, right? This is just a simple parallel arrangement, okay? Great movie, by the way. Oh, man. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Um, so all I have to do is now find the equivalent capacitance of this parallel arrangement. So how do we do that? We did it already, basically, right? It's the capacitance in parallel is equal to the capacitance of one plus the capacitance of the other plus the capacitance of the other, however many you got. We got three here, so we're going to be adding all three together. So there's 2.06 plus then 8 plus then 1.37. And what do we get? Let's see. So we'll take that value, multi uh, add it to 8, and then add it to that exact value from before. I'm adding the exact value. So if you use the rounded ones, it might not come out precisely. But who cares? As long as you're in the ballpark. 11.4. 11.4. And that is now in micro farads. Okay? So this whole thing that I now just combined would be similar to now a single a single capacitance of 11.4 microfarads. So just to complete it, let's uh, let's white everything on out. Okay, so watch. Erase everything now. This whole thing now just gets broken down into one nice little unit. Okay, almost there. By the way, how's your semester going? Hopefully it's off to a good start, I guess. You're probably about a month in or so now, right? ish, depending upon the professor, right? I mean, it might be two days in. Depends on where you are. But I hope the semester, not only physics, but the rest of your classes are treating you well. So now I realize that this is just 11.4 microfarads. So that whole complex thing that I wanted out literally boils down to this single 
capacitance. So this whole arrangement of capacitors that was there before is basically the same thing as one single capacitor with a capacitance of 11.4 microfarads. Guys, thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. And I do hope this really helped. If it did, please give us a hand. Just taking literally a half a second, hit that subscribe button, hitting the like button too. It definitely means a lot to us. It helps us out tremendously. And it's also very motivating, quite honestly. So, um, you know, we appreciate it very much. If the video helped, if it did not, no worries. But don't give it a thumbs down. <laughs> Take care.